I compare that book to like Prisoner of Azkaban, mm -hmm. where it's like the book where everything feels more serious and more adult like. It's definitely more serious than Harry Potter ever was. Like a 12 year old kid is electrocuted to death. Mm -hmm. And that's just like in the beginning sections of the book when like Annabeth is kidnapped. So it's like none of that stuff ever happens in Harry Potter. Like, can you imagine if something like that happened in Harry Potter? Yeah. Like if Hermione was Hermione was gone for a little bit in the second book, I guess. Um, she was like petrified or whatever. But can you imagine if she was like kidnapped for an entire book? Oh and Harry and Ron were left trying to figure things out. Well, Ginny was kind of Ginny was kidnapped and almost killed too in that one. Um, but yeah, they didn't they didn't really raise the stakes with any of the kids ever. Um, it feels like even when things got really bad, like because one of the kids that we saw that was in the worst condition when they were all out on the run was is it Dean Thomas that they run into? That's like I think so. Yeah. I, He's with a bunch of other mudblood people or like mixed, I don't know, like muggle-born. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the term I was looking for. I was like, mudblood's not the right one. That's the derogatory <laughs> one. Cobble to fire, Cedric dies. Yeah. But and that is sad, but he's also, he's like, I don't know, he's introduced in that book, like Bianca is introduced in Titan's Curse, mm -hmm. but he's older. And so it's sad, of course, that he dies, mm -hmm. but it's different, especially because Bianca's like not the only one like that, like other kids after her died. Um, but like, she's 12. Yeah. Like she's a 12 year old kid and she steals a little like action figure toy for her 10 year old brother because she knows that he would like it. And she ends up getting electrocuted to death by a giant robot because she stole a freaking action figure for her little brother. Yeah. And it's just, that's so brutal. And that's just like in the first little section of that book that that happens in. And it that's like what I imagine like watching the show of like, we're gonna watch Bianca get cast. A little child is going to be cast as Bianca. And then we're gonna have to watch her be killed on screen. Oh my gosh, yeah. And like I'm just like imagining like Walker's face when he would act that out. He will kill everybody. Okay. Like, he kills everybody in scenes that we didn't expect it to be that bad. Much less scenes like that that actually are really bad. Yeah. When it comes to Percy Jackson books, Titan's Curse and the last book are the ones that I go back and forth about mm -hmm. of my favorite ones. Um, but Titan's Curse is the one that I've read the most. It's hard yeah. to read The Last Olympian because everyone is fucking dying <laughs> and so i don't like reading it that much even though it's a really good book yeah i don't remember it too much like i don't remember a lot of these i do remember that this one was my favorite but it's the connections to the odyssey and that's why um but yeah i don't i don't really remember so it's it's definitely rereading it for me is almost reading it for the first time again it's so funny, like me doing our podcast episodes, because I'm like, how do I sum up this podcast that is two adults who read them before? One doesn't really remember it because it was just when you were younger. And I don't remember it, even though I read it many times for like seven years, because I have PTSD. <laughs> and I dissociated so much. Even though I read these books so much that I literally broke the binding of some of the books that I had of them that I, I still don't remember what happened in them. Yeah, it's every time I rediscover what happens, I'm like, oh yeah, no, I don't remember this at all. 